This is a quick tutorial on how to send a bunch of emails at once using mail merge and then also this other add-on called split names. So uh, yet another mail merge. Basically go to your Gmail and create uh, a template and you can have your filler spots. Basically the way it works is whatever you put in brackets needs to correspond with whatever's in the doc. So first name, um, there's not going to be a first name yet. I'll show you how we're going to generate that in a second. Personal line comes up. Make sure it has the same case. So in that email line was lowercase. Uh, and then PS line with uppercase here. So there you go. Emails are all in there. Um, so host name, basically what you'll do to send an email is highlight all of those. I use, I'm on a Mac, so I use control space bar to highlight all those. Then go to your split names add-on, hit start. Oh, actually, first, before you do this, make sure that they've got, make sure there's only one name in each one. You don't want to have multiple names, right? Or else it'll break everything. Plus, it's not even really good practice to email multiple people at once when you could email one person, you know? So yeah, there you go. Control space bar, add-ons, split names, start, and then it'll show you this thing. It'll let you split the names in half. One of this woman's names is One Click Lindsay. Okay, so yeah, it's, then it's worth just scanning through the names that you create. Just to make sure that there's nothing weird like one click Lindsay right here. First name's probably Lindsay. You can email you know that. Everything else looks Gucci. Looks Gucci main. So fine. Um, make sure these aren't in a weird font like these are. I think it's 10. Yep. And then that's it. So hit add ons, yet another mail merge, start mail merge. Oh, actually, make sure you're logged into the right email account. It's another good thing to mention. <laughs> I was logged into my personal Gmail. Make sure you're on your work one. Um, okay, yet another mail merge. And then we uh, start. And it'll give you a test one at first. So you always want to test it first to make sure the template works before you blast out it, the mail merge to the whole group. Duplicated headers cause issues in Yelmer. Column C and column... Oh, so this doc is weird because it's got hidden headers in there. So if there's too much... So just make sure that yours doesn't have any of that stuff. But yeah, no merge is pretty good about error giving. So start. Let me wait a second. Pick the right draft. And it does it by subject line in your inbox. So the subject line of this one is room for another interview, first name. So we will want to go through, find room for another interview, first name. First hit send me a test email. And it's going to send a, an email to your inbox using the template. It came through. You want to quickly read through the test email, make sure it's good. You know, no weird spaces after the name. Sounds so energetic. Da, da, da. Read some. Okay, this looks good. So basically, send emails. And the emails will send automatically. By the way, after a long day of uh, drafting emails, it's like the greatest feeling in the world. Sit down, drink your coffee, watch the emails go out. Tradition as old as the internet. At least as old as, you know, this plugin. All right, email sent. So if you go to the sent part of your inbox, You'll see all of these were sent out. They all look super good. And that's that's all that's all we gotta say. <laughs> Alright, take care.